Hey brethren, welcome back. This is Eric EJ Love, Sword of Truth YouTube channel. I just wanted to welcome you to today's video series. I'm starting on the Lord of the Dunghill or the Lord of Dung, also known as the Lord of Flies, Beelzebub, and the inundation of poop and poop toys and poop cartoons and poop in general in today's society marketed towards children. Enjoy. God bless. Poopsie, 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 poopsie. Poopsie surprise unicorn. My slime is divine. Give her magic food. Yes. You won't believe your eyes. Put her on the potty. Unicorn slime surprise. Unicorn magic color change. Yeah. Rainbow slime, glitter slime. So many to collect. Poopsie surprise unicorn. Which unicorn will you get? Yeah. Poopsie surprise unicorn. Over 20 surprises. Each sold separately. And look for Poopsie Pooey Paton. Now swirl it. You can also use food from home. The Unicone Rainbow Swirl Maker. Adult supervision suggested. If you're struggling to get your kids in the tub, hook a poop and net a smelly trophy with the Fishing for Floaters game. It's a really simple game. Just chuck in your floaters and use the mini fishing rod to catch a poop and scoop it up with the net. Whomever nets them the fastest wins. Give your kids a laugh as you plant a beady-eyed poop on the toilet seat or as a novelty drinking game. Write the names of different drinks on the undersides, hook two, and see what you have to drink. So make bath time a little little bit more fun and hook up the Fishing for Floaters game from PreziBox.com. From the bowels of the city comes Flush Force. Flushed and forgotten items that mutated in the sewer and are coming back up to make a splash. Just add water to the tank, shake, and reveal. They're squirming vermin, bow, floaters, grimy grub, and more. With 150 you can collect, you'll want to take the plunge. Time to call a plumber. Flash Force figures each sold separately. <laughs> It's Flush and Frenzy! Flush the handle to see how many times to plunge! Look out! You pop the poop! Make the grab and get a token! Catch it in midair and it's twice the points! The one with the most tokens wins! Flush and Frenzy! The game! Available now at Smith's Toy Superstores! Toilet, poo, paper, and then wash your hands. Yeah. Poopy hands! If you can't, press the cushion or you'll get a... Poopy hands! But watch out, the player with the most poo on his head loses. <laughs> Poopy head, the game in number two always wins. Poopy head! For real friends! New hacks my poop and pup. I want to feed my pup, not clean up. I like to go on walks, not get stuck. I love to find cute poop, not... Ew! <laughs> Let's get your poop on, Pax. It's cute poop to the max. 
New packs. My poop and pup. Batteries not included. Woo, woo, woo. Everyone's favorite doggy is back. Yeah. Feed him. Spin it and squeeze the leash. Doggy did what doggies do. Everyone's favorite doggy, doggy do. While exploring the enchanted forest, Sparkle came across a wild taco patch. And ever since, things just haven't quite smelled the same. You want to see how rainbows are made? <laughs> These fart meet Sparkle Farts, the original farting unicorn plush, made from a soft, cuddly material. You'll want to squeeze him tight, but be careful. No, 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 don't squeeze me, I'll fart. Stuffed animals have never been this fun or this funny. Just squeeze to hear these hilarious fartastic phrases. I think I just doodled in the enchanted forest. <laughs> Sparkle Farts, the original farting unicorn plush. Learn more online at itallfartshere.com. You want to poke Guster. If he lets one go, you're out. Last one in wins the gas out yes. game. Gas out game comes with Guster the gas cloud. Okay, who tooted? In this rip-roaring game, players try to figure out who made that funny sound. There's plenty of bluffing and finger pointing, but in the end, it all comes back to who cut the cheese. Can you keep a straight face after you cut one loose? Who tooted by Goliath? 
Available now at Smith's Toy Superstore. Meet Stinky Pig. He doesn't really smell bad. He just makes certain noises that would make you think he does. <laughs> this soft plastic pig is quite the character with his sheepish stance and big old grin. Kids can't help but love playing with him. The game plays a little like hot potato. Just press Stinky Pig's belly to start, and then roll the die to see which way to pass him, and do it fast. If you're stuck holding him when he randomly farts, oh no! But unlike hot potato, you're not out. You just get a token. This way kids are always in on the fun and laughs. The player with the fewest tokens in the end wins. Something big is brewing, and someone is about to get splatted. Just choose your boots, Take a spin and escape the poo. Who will be number one by dodging her number two? Avoid her mega poo to win the game. Gassy the cow. Will she move or will she poo? Smith's Toy Superstores. If I were a toy. It's Pull My Finger. The hilarious new game. Spin the dial. Pull the monkey's finger. Watch his butt inflate. How big will it get? How long can he hold it in? Avoid the farts. And win. Pull my finger. Only at Toys R Us. We will have our own monkey fragrance. I want to help. Start, Wally. But we're not there yet. We're going to need a play. Once again, not me. Uh, it's not the same without the smell. Oh yeah, that one was me. Oh, my mouth was open. Oh, that's burning my tongue. An intense aroma with a lingering nutty bouquet and just a hint of evil. Well done. Thanks. Must be something I ate. Zox, prepare to meet your greatest nemesis. The worst case of lactose intolerance in all of Splitsboro. Here we go. T minus 10 seconds to launch. Nine. Eight. Guys, hurry, I can't hold it. Seven. He wouldn't. What? Beatles, you are in so much trouble!
is the new weapon you ordered. No, no, no. I said dart gun, not... Okay. Oh, yes. Because I was wondering under what circumstances would we use this. But anyway, um... <clears throat> See how many times you should flush. One. Sometimes you avoid the spray, and sometimes you won't. <laughs> the last player to flush without getting sprayed wins. Yay! Face the flush with the toilet trouble game. Ages four and up, adult assembly required. Whoa, that's a lot of poop! Don't step in it! It's the outrageous new game from Hasbro Gaming. Can you cross the map without stepping in doo-doo? High step it. Side step it. Just try not to step in it. Adult assembly and supervision required. Oh. When do you make Play-Doh poop? I make Play-Doh poop during family time. With the new Play-Doh Poop Troop playset, the whole family can squeeze, swirl, and style more than 50 hilarious poop. Poopsie time surprise! My poops, my poops, my poops. Unroll, what's the scoop? Yeah, you can make magic unicorn poop. Yeah. Unicorn food. Set your cup, add water, shake it up. Poopsie slime surprise. So many colors to create. Which poop will you make? Unicorn magic color change too. Sparkle on ultra rare poop. Poopsie slime surprise. My poops, my poops, my poops. Keychain keeps poop fresh. <laughs> Poopsie slime surprise. Ten surprises inside, each sold separately. Here comes the unicorn. 
Toy Superstores. If I were a toy. Poopies! Welcome to the world of Kerplopolis, where it's cool to be number two. Unroll the TP to discover which poopies are hidden inside. Gucci, TP, Dumpling, and Tooth Fairy. Over 36 to collect, including the ultra rare, silent but deadly. Which ones will you find? You can squish them, stretch them, trade and collect them. Flush your poopies and watch them fly. Get the potty started with series one of the poopies. Flopping into a store near you. Each sold separately. Wow, this is the biggest birthday cake I ever made! Dude, Eva's gonna be so impressed! <laughs> She's here! I better say hi! Where <laughs> mm. are those birthday candles? Ha! There they are! <laughs> <laughs> Is someone passing wind in here? There. <laughs> What's this? Warning, placing lit candles on a turd too long will cause explosive diarrhea. Eh, nothing to worry about there. Uh -oh. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Goofy! Happy birthday to you! Peanut filling? My favorite! Let's blow out these candles. Uh. But first, a speech. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone who came. That includes Potty Pooper, Mother Deuce, the Toot Fairy, and the two old farts. Without deuces and do sets like you, this potty would really stink. Candle time! <gasps> Wait! Did you make a wish? I almost forgot. Hmm. <laughs> I know! Let me get a picture! Smile! to flush out evil and drop a steaming load of justice. It's our duty. Understand, new sidekick? It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. I like your moxie. A kid like you could really wipe out evil. There's just something about you. I'm not sure what it is. Glaring butt bazookas, look! Those two old farts need help crossing the road. This is a job for Pooperman. Is it? I've got this. You handle whatever's going on over there. Help! My pie place is being robbed by robbers. Really dangerous robbers. The trick is to avoid cars. You can't be too careful, so, um, away! He'll stop you! He's a hero! See, look at his cape! Ah, you are in trouble now! <laughs> oh, really? You're gonna find out why they call me SBD. Silent, but deadly. He's stealing my car! Uh, excuse me, could you please not do that? Oh, dear. 
there you go. No need to thank me. No time for an app sidekick. Blaring butt bazookas. Look. <laughs> but it's time for my break. How about you take care of it? Nope. You win some, you poop some. Hey everybody, alright you just got done watching all of those commercials, all of those videos, and also a couple cartoons that basically was just all about dung, all about poop, all about farting, all about toilet humor. And we see once again how this is all marketed towards children. But it makes you wonder and it makes you think. Is there a deeper agenda behind all of this? You know, it's very grievous to me seeing this. It's very grievous to think that we have children out here who actually have a desire to want to play with poop. Now, we know that it's the parents. The parents are the ones who are allowing these cursed objects into the home. Let's see you'll come to realize and understand that there's nothing new under the sun and this is the depravity in the debasement of the imaginations of the mind when you don't have Christ Jesus in your life that it would result into people wanting to actually play with poop or things that look like poop and touch poop and if you know anything about the animal kingdom it's beasts, it's animals that typically play with poop, that play with dung. So the whole point of this series is to not gross you out. And I know it may seem gross and it may seem like a weird video and a weird topic for a Christian YouTube channel to cover. But this is something that really seriously needs to be touched upon because this whole agenda of all this dung and all this feces is much more deeper than what it may appear and we see that the enemy he always uses things that are cute and things that are cuddly or things that are attractive to pass you know and things that are funny in entertaining to pass agendas you know that's how the whole sodomite agenda was really foisted upon us you know I would say definitely in the 90s and then especially in the 2000s you know where they would always use humor and laughter and oh you know look at those silly little queers oh look how funny they are talking all lispy and you know television shows like in living color and you know other types of movies and whatever have you where they would always have like sodomites just being really funny being really flamboyant so it was easy to pass that agenda through by entertainment by you know being funny by being entertaining and we see they're doing the same thing with the usage of dung and poop and the imagery of it we see you know it might have started back in the day with like whoopee cushions and these types of things and then it evolved into the poop emoji where we're at today and how the poop emoji really took off and you see that trend and that craze of poop emoji on the phone, poop emoji pillows, poop emoji piggy banks, poop emoji comforter sets and sheets and pillowcases and just poop emoji everything and that has become one of the biggest you could say icons in pop culture today and it's evolved from there to where you have things like poop dough or poo dough from Play-Doh and these unicorn poop 
toys and the unicorn poop ice cream cone makers. And that's where this is all leading, friends. It's, it's normalizing acting like a beast. See, I preached a sermon last year, a little over a year ago, called The Marks of a Beast. Not to be confused with the mark of the beast, but marks of a beast. I truly believe that those that will take the mark of the beast will exhibit marks of a beast. And those marks are going to vary. And we see in 2 Timothy chapter 3, I believe this chapter, I believe Paul is exhibiting to us various marks of a beast. And it just reads, I'll read it quickly. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. I'm just going to stop right there. But once again, friends, we see all these different things that I just labeled, or I'm sorry, that Paul listed there to young Timothy, where marks of somebody who's going to have the mindset of a beast, which in essence would make it very easy to take the mark of the beast or to worship the Antichrist and to worship the beast and his image. This, this to me, it's very self-evident with all these different types of products being pushed on children and these cartoons and why there's such an obsession with the poop today. And realistically, it really makes sense. But again, like I said a little bit ago, there's nothing new under the sun. You see, in the Word of God, in the Old Testament, it talks about Beelzebub. And in the New Testament, it's pronounced Beelzebub. But we know that Beelzebub or Beelzebub is considered the Lord of the Flies. And we know that flies are attracted to dung. They're attracted to poop. Now... I don't think it's any coincidence that when you pull up Beelzebub in the Greek, in the Thayer's Greek, it's also could be translated Belzebul. And Belzebul, it says in the Thayer's, that it's translated from Belzebub. And it basically means, it says, it's the name of Satan, the prince of evil spirits, like we find in Matthew 10, 25, Matthew 10, uh, 12, 24, and 27, Mark 3, 22, Luke 11, 15, 18, and 19. And it, in the rabbinical Hebrew, it means Lord of dung or of filth. Also, idolatry. You know, Paul said he counts it all as dung. It also talks about the Lord of the Flies. You know, it was a false god of the Ekronites, we find in 2 Kings chapter 1. We also see that the Lord God, he sent the Egyptians, he sent them a plague of flies. And again, think about that though. Flies, what do flies do? Flies, they always are attracted to your food and they go and they poop on your food. And flies also 
eat poop and then they come and poop that poop on your food. So there's nothing safe, there's nothing sanitary, there's nothing wonderful about poop or about flies and fly poop. There's nothing cute or cuddly about that. But we're turning it into something to be admired, something to be played with, something to make keychains out of and pens. You know, once again, the emoji, Play-Doh, wanting children to play with poop. And we also see, as I highlighted in this video, there is also an association with this, with the unicorns. And in the next video, we'll touch on that more in detail about the unicorns and about the unicorn poop and what the unicorn represents and why we've had such an inundation of the unicorn symbolism in our society and how it's a tied to the homosexual agenda how it's related to the antichrist the beast and basically all of this comes full circle you see we've noticed there's been a huge obsession with the butt in our society and we know that's typically how sodomites perform their sodomy that's one of the ways one of the main ways they do it you know sodomizing each other in that type of manner I don't want to get in graphic detail because children might end up seeing this video so I really want to be careful in how I use and choose my words and just be led by the Holy Spirit so Lord willing we will definitely try to remain as oh, as ungraphic as possible but still get the point across but anyways so there's an association with poop with feces and the rectum and beasts and the beast mentality and the antichrist and antichrist symbolism i mean we've seen once again they have this unicorn poop ice cream maker where the unicorn poops out ice cream and then you get to eat its poop. That's disgusting. And in subsequent videos after this, we'll we'll touch on that a little more in detail and why there's such such an obsession with that and how there's actual fetishes about that. But this video will not be for that because this video is just basically showing you how they're marketing all of this towards children and how they're setting children up and again it is pushing towards sodomy it is pushing towards the sodomite agenda but essentially it's pushing people towards the beast agenda and and it's all intertwined it's so blatantly obvious once you really start studying it out it's all about worshiping satan it's all about worshiping the antichrist and belzebub it, you know is a derivative of satan and that's just one of the many ways that he comes so ultimately unbeknownst to these parents unbeknownst to these children when they bring these toys in their home and they're playing with these toys they're essentially worshiping Beelzebub these toys every last one of these toys is a cursed object and it should not be brought in your home I guarantee you all of these toys and these toy manufacturers who've made them I guarantee you they're high-level Satanists and they're performing witchcraft spells over these toys and they're worshiping their god Beelzebub also known as Beelzebub also known as Beelzebul I'll even play how it's pronounced if I can find it here in the Greek and you can just see for yourself and I'll include the links if I can remember in the description so you can see for yourself that not only can Beelzebub mean the Lord of Flies that it does also mean the Lord of Dung and why there is such an obsession with this and why this is being foisted upon children I mean we see that many animals many animals eat and play with dung monkeys chimpanzees goril uh, gorillas they'll take dung and they'll fling it at people and then think back to this 
where through evolution they try to say that we evolved from monkeys or apes and gorillas and these types of things and we see that these types of animals they have no problem playing with dung and flinging dung at people and this is what this is what these toy manufacturers think of you they think that you're nothing more than apes and gorillas and monkeys and they want you to play with poop and they want you to eat poop you know just like the the flies do you know uh, there's a animal well it's an insect I believe in uh, I think it's in Egypt they worship it called the dung beetle and how these dung beetles would like take dung and they would burrow into the ground and then doing that I believe it's like the queen or the mother or whatever would like lay eggs and then like new dung beetles would arise it was almost like it's almost like you could say and and maybe this is why they refer to Christ as Beelzebub because you know the Lord of Dung because Christ he rose and he was going to rise from the dead as he did defeating sin and death by dying on the cross and then resurrecting for our sins and Christ when he when he was on that cross and when he took those sins down to hell he took that dung he took that filth to hell and then he rose so it's almost like by them calling Christ Beelzebub it's almost like they're attributing him to this dung beetle that's worshipped in Egypt maybe they didn't know that but maybe they did maybe the spirits working through them did and I'm sure that's probably the case because once again as it says in the Word of God we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places so while I find that scripture let me just see if I can play this for you and hopefully you can hear it but I just kind of want to get this point across and I mean it's just amazing to me that we've come to this point in our society that we would actually find it okay to play with dung that we would find it okay to play with poop all right so Beelzebub is the Greek 954 and here's how it's pronounced if you can hear this Strong's G 954 Beelzebul Beelzebul Strong's G 954 Beelzebul 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 which once again is the Lord of dung the Lord of filth you know it's interesting because I believe it's in Malachi where it talks about the Lord says he will spread dung on their faces now how would the Lord do that if we know that God is a spirit right well through their own depravity God's gonna have them doing it to themselves because they have a reprobate mind now I'm not saying that's that's doctrine or whatever but I'm just saying that's how I interpret that when I see that that they'll be doing it to themselves and we see that how that's even possible now I mean we're, we're having children playing with poop and then as you'll see in the next few videos that adults are doing the same thing Let's see if I can find that scripture for you. And while I do, God bless everybody watching this video and just bearing through it and putting up with what you've had to witness so far. Because this is all disgusting. I mean, seriously. This is disgusting, friends. Okay, brethren. So it says in Malachi 2 3, Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces, 
even the dung of your solemn feasts, and one shall take you away with it. It also talks about, in the Old Testament, that their flesh is as dung. Now, an interesting thing about that, going back to the Old Testament, the book of Kings, talking about Jezebel, she was eaten by, do by dogs. And being the fact that these dogs ate her, guess what happened to her? She essentially became a physical waste, and they crapped Jezebel out. I mean, this is insane when you think about it. This is really insane. I mean, she literally became dung. It also talks about, and it says, see in 2 Kings 9.37, it says, And the carcass of Jezebel shall be as dung upon the face of the field in the portion of Jezreel, so they shall not say, This is Jezebel. That's insane, friends. She literally became dung. Also in Kings, it says, about the men that sit on the wall that they may eat their own dung and drink their own piss with you so there's there's some scriptures that talk about this and again we know that Belzebub or Beelzebul is the lord of dung just something to think about so going back to the Word of God though in regards to the New Testament when the Pharisees called Jesus Beelzebub it says in Matthew 12 and 24 but when the Pharisees heard it they said this fellow doth not cast out devils but by Beelzebub the prince of devils And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come unto you. I'm just going to stop right there. But it goes on to talk about how essentially what they're doing is blaspheming the Holy Spirit, which is an unpardonable sin. I mean, they're equating Christ to the Lord of Dung. They're, equi they're equating Christ to Dung. I mean, seriously, when you think about that. You know, and as I'm going to cover in the next videos too, it just makes you wonder where sayings and catchphrases like holy S-H-I-T or holy poop or holy crap come from. Or holy cow even. It just really makes you wonder where all of this stuff comes from. I wonder why they call it that. Maybe because it was part of idolatry. And that's what all this is. And that's why we have to be careful at what toys we give our children, at what toys we allow them to have, and what toys we bring into our house. We don't want to bring anything into our house that is going to basically be worshiping another god. And essentially, that's what all this is linked to. This is all worship to the Antichrist. This is all worship to the beast and having a beast mentality and that beast mindset. And before somebody takes the mark of the beast, they're going to already have marks of a beast. And this is just part of it. And I want to leave it with this. And Paul says in Philippians 3, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but as dung, that I may win Christ. Hallelujah.
So I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, friends, that this video bless you and that we can make sure our children do not have anything like this. Even, even for those of you who may be lost and may see this video, we don't want our children to be playing with poop. We don't want them playing with dung. So stay tuned. I'm going to play a clip here of the next set of videos or the next topic on the next video. Just a quick little snippet. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that this video and this video series bless you. And in the meanwhile, we just want to go ahead and break off right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any demonic curse. If you have any demonic curses in your home, if you have any, any, any type of idolatry, any type of dolls and toys and video games and cartoons and movies that have witchcraft and false god worship attached to it, we just pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that the Lord bring this to your attention and that you get rid of these cursed objects, that you get rid of these curious arts. And not only do you break them, you break off the curses attached to them. And if you have the ability, burn them. Please burn all these wicked cursed objects. They have to go. Because it is an abomination in the sight of God, friends. We do not want to bring any curses upon ourselves because of giving the enemy a foothold into our lives and into our homes. So God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in Jesus' name that this video and this video series will bless you. So stay tuned and may the Lord Jesus Christ richly bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. This is where your ice cream comes from. The creamy poop of a mystic unicorn. Totally clean, totally cool, and soft serve straight from a sphincter. Mmm, they're good at pooping.